Welcome everybody. Um, you're here with Coping and Self-Care 101 with David Ritz. We're going to get going. Please um, post your questions in the Q&A and we'll take those towards the end of the session. David has a PowerPoint to go through and share with you. So take it away, David. Well, hello everybody. Thank you for joining us. Um, today we want to talk about Coping and Self-Care 101. Everything you need to know about getting through. Uh, these are difficult times and um, I want to provide as much support and I want to provide as much support for you as possible. So Sherry, can we get to the next slide? So these are from Rob Starkey at um, ASAP, his presentations, the fundamentals of self-care. You need good social support. You need to take care of yourself. You need to not watch news for a while. You need to practice gratitude, being grateful, and you need to be self-compassionate. You need to take care of yourself. So Sherry, next slide. So here are the ANA resources for coping and self-care. And so, Sherry, if you could direct us over to the uh, web page. So, this is um, under human resources and under wellness. And as you can see, we have resources for you. Okay. Um, resilience, turning lemons into lemonade. And um, this was a study about. Uh, people who were laid off from AT&T, the group that was successful, and what their three major um, um, areas of success were. This is interesting to look at. The other thing about self-care is you might try to try calming music. Okay, we have some calming music on the web page. And we also have um, from um, Anner, um, a rain chain with the sound um, that goes on for 30 seconds. And it's 30 seconds. You should probably listen to this once an hour if you can. It's kind of like on the commercial for TV, 15 seconds of calm, except for we have, we have 30 seconds of calm. The other thing that's really important is to breathe. I mean, breathe. And you can always do box breathing, in four, hold four, out four. In four, hold four, out four. That's something that you can do all the time. When you take a desk stretch or when you take a, breath, a break, breathe a little. We also have breathing and meditation sessions. Um, we've done a very, there's a, there's a, uh, a two minute or a three minute session uh, for meditating and breathing while you're seated in your chair. So that when you are taking a little bit of a break or when you're changing activities, you can play a three minute meditation and get feeling a lot better. Uh, we attempted this at a town hall. Some of you heard it, some of you didn't. We also have soft belly breathing. That's to help you with your breathing. So all of these resources are here. I also wanna go down to coping and self-care because ASAP is an incredible partner and you can always call ASAP um, and you can get on the ASAP page. They have a lot of resources some of the ASAP resources that I think are important for us are highlighted here. So we have ASAP, Coping with Stress and Anxiety. That's their program. Uh, we again have the Rain Chain. We have Coping with Stress, and this is kind of more of a, a little bit of a scholarly article, but it's in Spanish and in English. So for those of you that have constituents or family members or people that you know are struggling, uh, we have it in um, English and Spanish. Um, we have information about parenting, what to do with the kids, okay? Um, and all of these are actually ANA resources, uh, maybe they're UCCE resources, maybe they're extension resources, but there are resources, okay? So uh, take me back to the PowerPoint for a second, Sherry. All right, so under physical well-being, um, I'm gonna take us to, I believe I can take us to there. Physical well-being is really important, and um, we should be stretching. 
I try to remind the HR team at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock to take a desk stretch. Now, sometimes they take, you do a desk stretch. Sometimes you make, take the dog out. Um, but get up and move because it's important for your well-being and coping to be active and to move. And within the confines of when we're in the middle of work, the things we can do are desk stretches at 10, 2, and 4. Um, if you want a little bit more about it, upper body stretching is a YouTube video um, that shows you uh, several different stretches. But basically, we need to get up and we need to move around. It's important, it's very important for coping. Um, and then Sherry, if you could go back to the PowerPoint for a second. So emotional well-being, calming music, taking out 30 seconds for just calm and listening to running water, or if you have another application, use it, okay? ASAP at UC Davis is an incredible resource. And also, uh, one thing that I did not show you on the emotional well-being page. So if we could go back to well to uh, emotional and mental well-being. Um, here's some random acts of kindness you can do even in a pandemic. And it's a very good article. It's actually from the UK. And if you go to the first square over here, the, the left-hand square, it says celebrating the festivals and occasions during the COVID restrictions. Gives a lot of information about how we can do Thanksgiving, how we can do holidays, how we may have to social distance, how we do things a little bit differently. But it's very good ideas, not only on this, but on about nine or 12 other topics that um, are available on this page. So I just want to make sure that we understand that there are things that we can do to help ourselves um, through what, what is going on with us right now. So if we could go back to the PowerPoint. Okay, now let's go to nutritional well-being. If we can, share. So there is a connection between food and coping. And if we look at this, um, if we can open this up for just one second, Sherry, um, what you'll see is that here are foods that actually help you with stress, okay? Um, and then in the article below, it talks a little bit about how foods relate to mood why these foods um, help you with coping and stress busting and how important it is to, um, to um, eat right. It's an integral part of coping. And here's some articles about that. Um, if we could go back to the nutrition page, uh, we actually have um, some uh, recipes, most of these are from our UCCE offices. Um, you, you might wanna try meatless for a change. Um, we also have some, um, we have some uh, recipes for you to try. Um, and all of these things lead to being able to cope and get through everything that's going on right now. Um, I also want to draw your attention, Sherry, just down to the child and family resources at the bottom there, correct? Um, here, all of the programs we have for you and family resources that can also help you um, in these kind of times. And I'm not going to go to any of those directly, but I want you to understand that these wellness pages have information in there designed to help you help you cope, help you work, and help you take care of yourself. So Sherry, can we go back to the PowerPoint for a second? Great, next slide, please. Please take care of yourself. Let me say that again. Please take care of yourself because you really can't take care of anybody else 
unless you're taking care of yourself first. So I want you to use all of the resources that we have available to us to take care of yourself. All of the things that we have discussed prior to this slide all add to the things that you can do to take care of yourself. And if you make a meal out of stress-busting foods, you not only help yourself, but you can help your family and those who shared the meal with you. So this is really, really important to take care of yourself. The better you can take care of yourself, the better you can take care of those around you. So next slide, Sherry. Next slide is really resources. I want you to understand that the basic resources we have is ASAP. There's their phone number. There is their um, um, uh, URL. You can always go to the uh, wellness pages and um, and find that. And then, of course, you see A&R Wellness. That's me. That's my phone number because we're working for home. That's my cell phone. But give me a call. And here are the pages that we have been referring to um, under um, <clears throat> under human resources and wellness. So really, at this point in time, um, I'd like to take some questions if we have any. So I'm looking for questions and I don't see any yet. Um, I do have one thing I just thought might be good to point out, Dave, maybe you can just clarify that. ASAP is completely confidential. You don't have to tell anybody. You don't, they don't talk to anybody. It's psychologists and therapists who can help you through tough times. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. So um, ASAP is absolutely confidential. You call in, uh, they're going to get your contact information and they're going to call you back. Your supervisor will never know. Nobody knows. It is absolutely confidential. Even if I am um, interacting with ASAP about uh, perhaps um, a person that we're both working with, uh, we can't share any information. I, we can't even share names. So I may have to provide some general information and generally ASAP provides nothing back. So please contact ASAP. They have a wealth of information. Sometimes you just need to talk to somebody. You can do that confidentially. Great. I know that there's been some um, questions about that in the past, so I thought maybe not everybody would know. Um, any other questions? I don't see any coming in um, yet. Are there any of the are there any of the articles on the um, wellness pages that you might want to look at in more depth? Uh, this is a question for the participants. Uh, let me, you know, uh, thank you very much, Sherry. Let me just point out that um, every week um, on Friday afternoons, I put something out called Wellness Next Week. That is where we're trying to highlight things for the next week that you can do to take care of yourself. Uh, wellness this week focused on um, ergonomics because we all are working at home. Um, actually, I'm having a, um, I think there's a, um, an open ergo lab this afternoon from three to four, if I'm not mistaken, it should say right in here. Um, um, Tuesday, 10th and the 12th. Yes, that's today. One thirty. Yeah. yep. So, um, at 3.30 to 4, so you can join at any time, and the whole idea is to get you working from home which is also going to help you, um, is also a form of self-care. So please take a look at um, Wellness Next Week, and then please take a look at the wellness pages because they, um, they have a lot of information. Also, if you have any suggestions, please email them to me because I am always looking for content that can help us cope and get through everything that's going on. So Dave, um, we do have a question. How yeah, about yeah. something on self-motivation from constantly home, working at home, from home? Because that's a great question because that is tough um, to do sometimes to stay motivated. Well, I think all of us struggle with working from home. 
uh, for me, it's hard for me to figure out if I'm working hard enough, not working hard enough, working just enough, okay? But what we can do for ourselves to stay motivated is to uh, take a break and do some stretching because you will feel better about getting back to the task at hand. Uh, there's also this com, uh, um, concept of um, uh, release and relax, which is just let go of whatever you're working on for 20 seconds, relax, maybe listen to uh, the rain chain or some calming music, and then you can get back to your task feeling a little bit better. Um, you can also uh, do the seating meditation. It will help you stay motivated because now you're feeling a little bit better for yourself. You might have focused your energy a little bit and it will allow you to finish your work for the day. So I hope that answered the question. Um, please put something in the chat if you want me to uh, speak about something specifically. So Dave, I have a question. Um, yeah. One thing I don't see on, and I can't ask it necessarily in the chat. <laughs> so if you, um, so there isn't anything on your website about staying in touch with your team necessarily, because I think that that really does help people with your co colleagues and coworkers having regular meetings or check-ins. We have daily huddles in our unit, just a few minutes. I don't know if that is that considered under wellness, but it does help us keep motivated and connected as a team and support. Well, it's something, I, Sherry, I couldn't agree with you more. And I think that um, uh, supervisors are trying to have those connections with their teams. I know that I am on some um, call, team calls, because we're talking about ergonomics, sometimes wellness. Um, so yeah, it is very, very helpful uh, to know how you were doing. And so if you're not having those types of meetings, you might want to just check in with your supervisor and you might want to check in with your supervisor anyway and just go, how am I doing? I know that I've done that a few times with my supervisor. Right, because we're not in the office seeing each other every day where we get that feedback and everybody needs feedback no matter where you are. That's correct. So, and I have another question about ergonomics. Yeah. So are you the first source for the ergonomic um, contact now if somebody has an issue? Because it yes, used to I, be in Altman's office. So. Yes, I am. Because what's happened is, uh, because I have some experience with ergonomics in my work over at UC Davis on campus, I've been helping Brian out actually with the ergonomics program. So I am the first contact for ergonomics if you're having any issues at all. Uh, please let me know. And I am under the resource page and that's how you can um, get to me. Great. Okay. And we have a question. Um, somebody wants to know how to get to the rain chain. And I noticed that it's not called rain chain, although you referred it to that way. Is it the 30 it's, seconds of calm? From yeah. UCM, yes. And why don't you play that? Oh, that is nice. Can you put it on a continuous loop? <laughs> <laughs> um, if, if, if you're if you're smart enough, you can. Okay. I do not know how to do that, but I don't know if we can hear the sound or not. But oh, here I have to share it through my. All right, Sorry, guys. You, my guys might be hearing a really weird. Um, okay. There it is. Can you hear it better now? I cannot hear it at all. But anyway, that's where it's at. Um, we don't want to watch the next one so that's the 30 okay, great. minutes of, of watch, calm don't need to watch storm chasers yeah no okay. <laughs> so okay and so, lauren noted that she starts her work day off she posted in the chat an ambient study music to concentrate four hours of music for studying concentration and memory so I, she has a link posted in the chat I am copying that link right now out of the chat. Whoops. And. Um, Could you hear me, Dave? Yes, I can. Okay, great. So let me try to copy this out of the chat. I was not successful the first I'll, time. Where would you like it? I can email it to you. Oh, just email it to me. That would be terrific. Okay. And I will make sure I incorporate that because uh, music is important. Um, 
I like to um, hum the 1812 Overture when I'm walking. I find it's motivating and the little can glass keep me going. And so music is very important and calming music is very important. And I'm glad that people that are participating um, understand that importance. So thank you for that. Excellent. So I don't think there's any other questions yet. Do you want to go back and look at the website again, Dave, to see if there's anything you missed? Well, what, I, what I'd like to just say is that it's difficult to work from home for a lot of different reasons, okay? Uh, for example, I have a 16-week-old 16 16 puppy sitting in the corner of my office hoping that he was not going to bark too much during this presentation. Um, kids need help. Um, but... But I guess I would like to go back. Can we go back to the, the second slide, the one that's got the fundamentals on it? One more. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So everything that we have talked about is in support of these fundamentals. Get social support. Talk to your colleagues, talk to your family, talk to your supervisor if you can. Good self-care. We've talked about nutrition. We've talked about meditation and breathing. Uh, we've talked about um, physical activity. Take a news break. The news is just overwhelming. So perhaps we, instead of turning on news first thing in the morning, uh, we just have silence for a while. It's hard to do. I am guilty of it myself. And practice gratitude, be grateful, because at this moment, we have a lot of things to be grateful for. And all of us know what those are individually, but practice gratitude, because if we are grateful for ourselves and what we have, we can help other people. And along with that goes self-compassion. Take care of yourself. Give yourself a break. Give yourself permission to relax. Give yourself a permission to get up from your desk and walk around for a little while. Take care of yourself. And really, Sherry, that's about all I had to share unless there's other questions. Great, thanks, Dave. I don't see any other questions. If I've missed something, please put something in chat and let me know. Otherwise, I think we're pretty close to being on time. So everybody has a few more minutes to go practice some stretching and breathing and listening to music before <laughs> during our lunch hour. <laughs> well, actually, Sherry, if we could, can we go to the um, um, the soft uh, the breathing and meditation um, sure. and, yeah, there, and somebody, play it? Sure, and I will do that. I just want to let you know we get to get one more chat. Um, okay. Somebody posted a cafe sound. So I'll make sure and send that to you as well in the chat. Yeah, Alyssa, thank you very much for that. That may, that may be kind of good to have that background noise, you know. Right. Great suggestion. So I will bring up the this page. And which one? Uh, uh, just click on, no, 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 on the, uh, there we go. And you're looking for the first one, that one right there. The following simple breathing exercise is going to help you monitor the depth of your breath. This is a great place to start for those of you who may not have been paying much attention to your breathing before now and want to utilize it as another tool in your journey towards stress management. As babies, we start out in life breathing deeply. Unfortunately, somewhere along the way as we grow up, we very often alter our breathing unknowingly toward a more shallow, less oxygen-rich breath. Shallow breathing via our chest muscles has a tendency to actually intensify our experience of anxiety. This exercise will help you be more proactive
from today's events or tomorrow's predictions. The oxygen increase in your body also gives you physical benefit. It allows your muscles to relax too. With relaxed, oxygen-filled muscles comes a decrease in such physical concerns as tension headaches, shoulder and neck pain, and clenching your jaw, just to name a few. As the music continues to play for a few more moments, continue your practice and allow yourself to take this small but fundamental step of increasing relaxation and peace in your inner life. So Sherry, I think that might be done. Great. Sorry about that. If you guys couldn't hear it all the way through, I tried muting myself so you couldn't hear me. <laughs> I muted it. So what I want to say is, first of all, thank you for joining. Uh, please share this information with your colleagues and friends and even your family member because that's family members because that's what it's here for. Please take care of yourself. And I know it seemed like forever, but that breathing video was only six minutes. We also have three minute videos. Take time to take care of yourself. That's everything I have, Sherry. Okay, great. Thank you, David. And this is being recorded. So we will share the link with you guys as soon as we get it edited and posted on a website. Thanks so much, everyone. Okay, bye-bye.